guys and welcome to this brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you a book haul of books I've acquired recently and it was only 10 of less but a bunch of these are gifts and a bunch of these are things that I'm really excited about to read but I'll let you know while I go through them and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Distress of a bundle of rats keeps falling out. Okay so let's just quickly, uh, only 10 books for a really week so yeah. Let's get an overview, let's get a thumbnail. Okay, let's go. The first book is from Knots and Crosses, a graphic novel by Mallory Blackman. This is a gift that I actually got from my friend. Knots and Crosses is my favourite book ever and I've given him the series to read. And while he's been reading it, I told him there was actually a graphic novel out. So he went and bought it for me, which is so great. I'm so grateful and I'm very thankful. But if he's ever watching this video, um, how did you get on this channel? Um, he will leave the video now before I hit you in the head with this book. Thank you very much. But thank you so much. I'm really excited about this and of course I've already started reading it. I've got quite, not deep into it, but I feel like I've got quite for a good bit of it. Because I only started it yesterday. My favourite book in the whole world and I've got a graphic novel set, um, version of it. So I'm very, very excited and happy about this. And I feel like this is definitely going way more fast paced than the book, obviously. But still getting its main points across, its main events across, the main feelings and message of this book without like cutting anything out. It's just more main to a point and very good and it's good to follow this and I'm very excited about reading more of this. So thank you so much to my friend. So I got from my mum, this book is called Storm Crow I think by Jeff Gulbin. Disclaimer now, if I mispronounce any of the names, but of her names, I'm really sorry, I don't mean to. I think this is about a serial killer and he has this calling, which means I think he's gonna, I think he leaves if he's close, like he's gonna murder you next, like your next victim. And the clues he leaves is a black crow's feather and a photograph of his intended victim with a bullet hole for it. And that's how you know you're gonna be killing Lex or whatever. But, and he's on the streets of London, most in the streets, he's out of jail or whatever crap. And I think someone's gonna find him. Now, I kind of not like crime, but I've kind of been wanting to read more of crime at some point because the first crime book I've ever read was by Out of Bang, and I just loved that book. And I really wanted to delve more into crime. But it's just so scary and really ominous and eerie, and I just don't want to read this because it's just too scary for me and it looks just a state of scrap. Um, it doesn't sound like a book for me. But I'm back with my mum anyway, but she really has the worst taste when picking me up books. She has no idea what to get me and just, yeah. But um, I'm very thankful. I don't know if I'll give this away or try to give it a try at some point in the future. But right now it sounds quite scary. But I have been learning a lot about serial colours lately and finding it interesting. So who knows if I'll give this book a try or not. Um, I don't know which one's the author's name and which one's the book title. I think it's De Morsey. Oh, keep you the gold. By Kimberly Sun. And I love how it's flops. Look at this flopping, flopping, flopping. It's like a flopping book, flopping. But anyway, this is about a 53 year old, I think, who's going to find herself in life adventures and her daughter is wanting to confront her family roots or something. But I really don't want to read about this. Um, I'm 17 years old. Uh, a story about a 53 year old woman finding herself. Obviously that's not ideal for me, that's not something I'm really interested in. I think I've read adult books like where the main characters are like 31 or something and I really enjoyed a book and gave it like 5 out of 5. But I think this takes it to another extent, like maybe if I actually gave this book a chance and actually read it, I would enjoy it but I just don't want to dwell into this, I'm really not interested in it. And yet again this was another book for my mum which I'm very thankful for but this isn't something like my cup of tea so who knows. I'll probably have it on my shelf for now but maybe at one point give it away if I never do pick it up but like let's see what happens with this book. Next of all is another book my mum gave me and this actually looks really pretty, not exactly the cover but like the colour and stuff. Um, This is Penny Vin Vincenzi, Vincenzi, I don't know. Um, Two novels, Another Woman and Forbidden Places, two novels in one book. And I just love the fact that this looks like, honestly I'm sorry if it's changed position slightly. This is like a pink floppy cube and there is nothing, no dents or broken spine, it's flawless, it's really perfect. This book probably was from a charity shop, but it looks brand new and beautiful. Not the really colour like what is this crap, but the pinkness of the cover and it's smooth and like cube, perfect nice little cube shape and it's all floppy and it's just so thick. Wow, like, I don't know if I get to this because I think I will probably read about it. It's about the night before someone's wedding she goes to bed, very happy and peaceful and the next day she is vanished without any trace or cause. So it sounds like another kind of CSI book but it sounds less scarier than Storm freaking Crow and it looks less scary, it looks like some kind of 
chick flick 40 year old person thing but it doesn't sound like that someone hopefully don't go with 40 because i don't want to obviously do a 40 year old woman like guys come off 17 give me a break yeah you know i love loose women loose women is just my life right now honestly love you guys loose women if you reply to me now thank you reply to me every youtube love you guys if you're watching this and <laughs> well i never will i'm 17 year old teenager i'm really sad anyway but yes yeah, this book is quite thick and has some quite small writing I do decide to give this a try, which at some point I hopefully will pick this up. I mean, I have to come on to go, it's not that small, it's kind of like almost medium ish, I don't know, but hopefully one day I can pick this up. Okay, guys, on to the next book. The next book I got is called The Skies Everywhere by Jandy Nelson, and as soon as I saw this, I knew this was like a hyped by book on booktube, and I knew I had to get straight away. I have a lot of unknown, underrated books on my shelf, but because I knew this was so hyped up and it's in the works. For some reason, for two pounds, I had to ticket it. Usually, no, you don't have hyped up books. You have lesser known books, which are really good for works. Have quite good books, so I suggest you go there if you have really great deals. Three for five pound, it's really a bargain. You can't go wrong. But I was like, oh my goodness, that sounds really interesting. Now, this is um contemporary about Lenny Walker, who's seventeen, and she has just recently lost her sister, and um I think it's going for a journey of how she's dealing with that. And it says about her personality, just she's a clarinet player, a band geek, a hopeless romantic, and she scatters poems around, which sounds very interesting and unique. And it also says here, I ripped the sticker up, but I don't know why I put the sticker back on, but like, you guys had to. I'm supposed to be grieving, not falling in love. So it sounds like a very interesting, really nice contemporary novel that I want to get through. Hope I think I might deal with some issues about how it is dealing with the loss of someone so close. Or how I experienced that myself, fortunately. I've been so into dystopian novels lately and really into them. So as soon as I get sick of dystopian novels and want to get to contemporary, this will probably be like the first one I pick up. It's not me, it's you by Stephanie Kate Strom, I think. And this is sound very interesting. It's in like a high school, kind of not a cliche, but kind of like a high school cliche, like Avery gets dumped before prom and she decides to interview everyone, her teachers, her friends, her parents, about why all her relationships have got wrong and went wrong, why she's always been dumped until this point and find out what's been going on before prom comes. I thought it sounded very interesting, but of course me, being me, I didn't look at this book properly because the whole book is an interview format. The whole book has literally character names and the words beside them. Like, I think this is the whole book of different characters being interviewed and their names and what they say. And it's like, that's the way the story is told. And I'm really not, I don't know if you can tell, but like, you know what I mean? It's names and then we're just saying whatever crap. Um, I don't want to write it off, but I'm really not interested if I knew, if I knew that, I would never pick it up because that kind of thing doesn't really interest me. Reading it in an interview format instead of like a um, standard storytelling, I just don't want to read this anymore and I don't want to pick it up. But again, it sounds interesting, the actual storyline. I bought it and it's nice and clean and new and fresh and nice and pretty and I don't want to write it off completely because maybe I'll be really good, who knows? And I don't know, I can't judge an interview kind of book, I don't even know. How many interview format books they are in fiction? I don't want to read for it, but I'll probably like a really quick read at the same time since it's just kind of like interview format kind of stale. I'll probably quite quick to read for it, or it looks quite short. So I don't know, but um, that's just putting me down and not maybe not kind of want to read it. It's kind of putting me in the upper direction of reading it now. Delirium by Lauren Oliver, and this looks disgusting. Look at this disgusting direct copy. I ordered this off Amazon, and the copy, the paperback we showed that I was going to get it was different from this. It looked much prettier than its face and like wrecked spine. Like, I also got a used copy, and I don't know if it was good. I think it's good, and this is okay, it's good condition. But it's just copy in general, like a state, and I just don't know. But anyway, I'm really excited to read this. And as soon as I'm done with a few books that I'm on right now, plan to read, I'm going to read this. And it's basically a world where love is a sickness, is like an illness. When you're 18 years old, you'll be, I think when you're 18 years old, you'll be safe enough to have a surgery where you're cured, you're cured of love, you won't ever feel love for someone. And until you're 18, you have to live with girls one way, boys the other way, they can't meet or interact because in case you fall in love. And all the common, like, you know how we get signs that we're falling in love with someone, well, not I fall in love, but like, you know, the butterflies and something like when you see them, and the excitement and the joy of it, everything that goes along with love, I think it's described as symptoms, the symptoms that you're falling in love in here 
and oh my goodness i can't imagine a world where love needs to be cured and love isn't rare because fall in love and love for family and friends is all i ever want and dream of full of crap like blah 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 so i can't imagine this world without love because love really is what we need to survive i think because without love what is there honestly so you know what i mean i don't get into it too deep but like i just can't imagine this world that sounds extremely interesting and i really really want to read it but oh my goodness okay next book 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 is Dark as Falls by Ellie Weatherly. The second, well, like Love is Weakness, so you know, maybe you should take a tip from that book. Well, it's the second book, I don't know if you can see it on the shelf, in the Broken Sky series by Ellie Weatherly. And I was so excited for this, I saw the offer day in the shop, and I was like, oh my goodness, but I got a line for cheaper. And look how beautiful and pristine this copy is. And of course, no marks on the spine, it's all brand new and shiny looking. And it's just so beautiful. And both of the novels are so pretty i love the first novel i was like five out of five and i really want to see what happens next a book review on the first novel in the series and i just realized there's going to be another book in the series because there's a next book called black moon in here so i'm really excited about that and i can't wait to get rid of how pretty and yellow on it um i have a book review vote on the first book and if you want to see that i'll link it down below i suggest you go check it out if you're interested in broken sky by ellie weatherly the series um because it's really 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 good it's like the first book and it's really interesting in the world so straight away as soon as i finish my um graphic novel i'm going to be moving on to this book and i'm very very excited Yay! Now the last book my mum got me again, but I kind of do appreciate it's just an Alice in Wonderland puzzle jigsaw book and I think it's got short stories about Alice in Wonderland um, while we go through it. Like I've never read Alice in Wonderland and I think I've probably seen the film when I'm a kid but I can't really remember that well. She goes in a rabbit hole, she has some drink and she comes really large and stuff and the queen and what's up of her head. And, she was wrong, but Annie Kate, um, please don't kill me, okay, I'm sorry. I watched Cinderella and all that, but I was like five, and I just really, yeah. So, it's got like different short stories, and for each page, there's a jigsaw, and I was thinking to myself, oh, jigsaw seems really attached to a page, maybe you can't take it out. But last night, I'd done two of the jigsaws, and all I have to do is really just kind of encourage the jigsaw to come out. And I'd done two of the jigsaws last night, and this is actually a very handy book. Like, not only do you have like a nice short story inside that you can maybe read to your kid, or like, I'm excited to read the short stories myself. You also have a jigsaws to do it as well. I do like jigsaws, so whenever you feel like it, instead of getting like a big jigsaw, it's get this book out and do the jigsaws very easily and happy. I done this jigsaw last night, and this one. Look at it, very nice event at the end of some poems and Wonderland and all the crap. So. Thank you, Mum. I mean, I don't, I'm not five, but it sounds like a very nice, interesting book, and I'm glad to have it. And probably the book I appreciate most out of it just got on me surprisingly enough. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching this book haul. Um, check out my other channels and my friend's channel down below, and I'll see you guys next time on this. And yes, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. And goodbye! Da, ba, da, da, da. Hello, guys, what's up? Welcome to my brand new video. This your book. Okay, yeah, this looks. This is a gift I got for my friend after I, I had given my my. <laughs> look at the sun coming in, look at the sun coming in, it's riding, shining, shining on me. Can you see my hill? The sun's shining on me. 